Hello everyone and welcome to another Twin Motion for Revit video. My name is Mitchell and today I'm going to show you the array tool or how to create copies of elements in Twin Motion and more specifically the difference between creating copies and creating instances. So let's get started. First thing that I'm going to do is just brighten up the scene and I'm going to go ahead and place down a primitive which I'll use for the example. Firstly, to create a copy of an element, you can select the object, hold down the shift on your keyboard, click and drag in the direction that you would like to copy the item, and then you can let go where you will get a series of options. Firstly, we can assign the number of items in this array. So let's say three, for example, and I can also specify an exact spacing between the elements. And then here are the two examples that we're gonna cover the differences between instance as well as copies. So firstly, we've got the instance, option over here. So what instances do when you create instance copies is that it links the objects together in terms of the materials as well as any parameters. So if you're dealing with lighting, this would take across things like cone angles or attenuation and things like that. It links the objects together in terms of those items. So let's see that in action. If I say OK and I place down my three objects and I go to my materials folder and I just select a random material. Also pay attention to our little material assignment option over here. At the moment it's set to replace material. Even if we were to set that to apply to object or apply to selection, doesn't really matter. None of these options will affect the materials any differently than what I'm about to show now. You'll notice that if I click and drag over any one of the boxes, it doesn't matter which one I click and drag over, all four are going to be modified. If I change it to apply to object, same thing still occurs. So that is the nature of creating instance copies is that it actually connects them together and allows us to make adjustments to multiple elements simultaneously. Okay, so you can see that we can come in here and adjust the parameters of this material because all four objects share the same material with the instance copy. I can adjust the parameter once and I have it affect all of my items. So this can be very useful if you're creating objects en masse and you would like to control them all simultaneously. Obviously, the copying has no effect on movement whatsoever, so I can still move any of the objects around without affecting the other ones. But as soon as I interact with the materials or the parameters, that's where they have a shared link between all of them. So let's take a look at the copy tool. So if I select on that object and I hold down shift and I click and drag once again, and this time I set it to copy and I'll again change the number to three. The three elements that get developed all share that initial material, as you can see, but they are in no way linked back to that original item. Meaning I can come to my materials and I can assign a different material to each one of these items without it affecting the others. I'll be able to modify any parameters that I want and none of the previous objects that were created will be affected by this change. So you are creating complete individual elements that are not linked back to the original when you use the copy method. When you use instance, they all share that initial original material and you can make modifications to all of them simultaneously. Now there may be instances where you have created objects that are linked together and now you decide that you no longer want all of them to be linked together so let's take this object right here at the end for example this one we want to de-link from the rest of them so i can still do that i don't have to delete and recreate what i can do is select that object and right click on it in the scene browser and i can come down here and select break instance when i click on break instance that item essentially turns into a copy Right, so no longer linked to the original and now I can go ahead and I can assign a different material to just that element without affecting the other ones. These three objects are still linked together. So if I assign a material to one of them, it'll change all of them. I'm just going to control Z just to backspace that so that I can get them back to the point where they are all linked again. So let's assume that I actually want to take these two objects and I want to turn them into their own group. That is also something that we can do. So maybe we have a need to keep these first two objects over here linked together, but we wanna create a new group for these two. So we want these two to be linked together. We want these two to be linked together, but we want them to not be linked to each other. So two completely separate groups. We can do that as well. 
by selecting both of the objects that we would like to create a new group from. Again, right clicking on the scene browser and then saying new instance groups. When I do that, what I've done is I've basically broken these two objects connection back to the original two, but I have forced them to be linked together. Now I can come in here and I can assign a material to just these two elements without affecting the first two, but the first two are still also grouped together. So I've created two separate groups here. Now this same idea we can translate through to something like lighting as well. So if I darken the scene a little bit and I go and apply, let's just say a spotlight for this example, can select my spotlight and I can of course create copies of it the same way as I do with the cube. So holding down shift, moving it along and I can choose once again whether I want to do it as an instance or copy. If I do it as an instance, what happens is all lights are connected together in terms of their, their attributes and their properties. So if I come in and I start adjusting things like the cone angle, you see that I'm adjusting for all of my light fixtures, not just the one. I can perform the same steps if I wanted to break the group, I could right click, break instance, and now this will just be its own light and will have no connection to the other three. Alternatively, if I deleted those and I started this again and I held down shift and I moved and created copies, these items are of course going to be individual items. So I can go ahead and change the parameters from one and not have it affect anything else and each one will be allowed to have their own settings. How you use this tool can actually be really powerful because if you do need to make changes to many objects simultaneously, creating instance copies of them is quite a good idea because you have that level of control over all of the elements by just modifying a single element. If however, you of course need more flexibility and more control, creating copies might be better or just placing the elements down one by one. That's all that I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much and see you in the next one.